What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here. Tonight, yes tonight, we're going to test flame patterns on alcohol stoves. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany Outdoors, there was Tiffany the Farmer. Are you turn when possible? No, we're not. Okay, to start off with, this right here is a tuna can, and this right here is a hole punch I got from Walmart for a dollar and ninety-seven cents. And believe it or not, this hole punch will actually punch through this very easily. So what I did, what I did was I took several cans. I only not only used a tuna can, I used one tuna can. I have that one to test a different pattern. But I used some smaller olive, black olive cans. And I put different holes. I used one that's got four holes, one that's got eight holes, one that's got well what I did was put one hole on each quadrant and then two holes and three holes and then four holes on each quadrant. But what I wanted to do was test and see what kind of flame pattern I get and if it's very effective in boiling water faster or slower. So it's dark outside and I'm going to be conducting this test on my grill so that it's a lot safer than doing it on my kitchen counter. I've seen some people do stuff like this on their kitchen counter. I don't feel comfortable with that. So I'm going to be doing this outside on my grill. If something goes wrong, I can just close it and let the um, flames die down. I also have an ex fire extinguisher nearby just in case something goes wrong. So let's head on outside and get this test started. And each one of these tests, I'll start off by saying this. I'm going to be using two ounces of denatured alcohol in each one of the stoves and boiling two cups of water, room temperature water, okay? So what I can do is I can what I'll do actually is what I'll do is I'll take my thermometer gun and test the temperature the uh, temperature of the water before we start. I'll do that. That might be a good idea. All right, let's head on outside. I have my alcohol stoves lined up. There's no alcohol in them just yet. But that first one has four holes. That one has eight. That one has 12 and that one has 16 on the end. So I'm going to start with the very first one. I'll be starting the fire with a fire steel. Two ounces of alcohol. And my water temp, 66.9 degrees. And set my water up there. And all right, y'all, that's the first one. It doesn't look very good either. Zoom y'all in. The flame does not look like it is coming out very well. You turn off the light, Let's see if you guys can see anything. Very low flame. Ah, well, when I pick it up, got a nice flame when I pick it up. Pull y'all in close so you can see the flame pattern. If there is one, there isn't, not really. Sometimes people blow on them to get it to go out the... And when I do that... Ugh, that look good. But the good thing about these is the... Um, 
the can gives it a nice sturdy base you don't have to worry about your your cup falling over all right y'all I'm gonna time this and see how long it takes to boil okay the first one it snuffed out it went poof, and then after about 30 seconds the flame was totally gone and the water temperature got up to 76 degrees after about three minutes I think this one went out because there weren't enough holes not enough oxygen to keep it going so we're moving on to the next can which has two holes instead of one hole on each each side okay this is one with two holes turn off this light let's see if this one does better Got a little more oxygen or a little more holes to deal with or work with we will see all right y'all we are less than three minutes in and what I'm finding so far is the flames are pretty much kind of snuffed out when I put the pot on top to boil. What I kind of expected was the flames to come out of the holes. That's what I expected, but it's not. So, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to give up. I'm just going to see if this at least warms the water up any. And we're like three and a half minutes in and... The water is at, let's see, 21 degrees now. So at least it's warming the water so far. We'll see. I'll keep this burning until it snuffs itself out. All right. I've stopped the timer at, oh, <laughs> it was 6 minutes, 45 seconds, and it snuffed itself out. Again, I'm thinking there's not enough holes, so... I think I'm going to skip the one that's got three holes and go directly to the one that's got 16 holes in it. Another thing that I'm wondering is maybe the can is too high. We'll see when I switch over to this can. We'll see. All right. Get this started. There we go. Or maybe I'm not letting it prime long enough. Let it burn for a few minutes. This one still had had um, a label on it that was like painted on. I couldn't get the label off, so. Nice blue flame. Let's see. Starting off with 69.4 degrees. And the thing that I'm finding also, like you can see a little bit of the flame. You can't really see anything, but when I lift it up, bam. It's like Flame City, so that these stoves are not going to fare very well at all. Alright, so tons of flames. I'm going to put the stove on or the pot on. It just, it just seems to choke the flames out. I hear some sizzling going on so I'm gonna let this burn until until uh, it snuffs itself out all right y'all right at about the six minute mark this one fizzled out also no flame the water temperature got up to 75 degrees okay so these stoves no good as they are no good and this one also it had uh, it had the still had the label on it and it started to give off a funky smell a burning smell you see kind of burned right there it gave off a bad smell all right so I'll set that to the side all right now I'm going to try this tuna can and this one's got holes all around the top plus it has a shorter a shorter um, let me show you the difference it's a lot shorter it's about 
about two thirds the size of the olive can so I'm thinking that the flames will come out better on this one all right here we go you like this let's see I'm starting off water to 64 degrees and with the same amount of fuel two two ounces of fuel starting it up fire steel I'm going to turn my light off. I bet this is going to look kind of cool. I wish it wasn't blurry, though. Alright. Set my pot on. Ah, it's trying to pop up. Start my timer. It's trying. struggling a little bit but it's trying sometimes people blow on them to get them to flame up a little bit I don't know it seems to be kind of petering in and out it's uh, puffing up and down a little bit seems to be struggling at the three minute mark I'll take a temperature reading and see how well this goes well y'all finally got a good flame it's at the five minute mark it is going really well it took a while once once the the fuel heats up You'll get a good flame like this it takes it a while sometimes and a lot of people use a primer put um, alcohol on the outside to kind of prime it to warm up the fuel first and then light it and like y'all saw I'm just cold starting it like I didn't have any any primer at all but this is going good now I'm gonna take the temperature 120 nice we might be able to get a full boil out of this one we're at the nine minute mark now that feels boiling really good now take a temperature reading 167 getting on up there it's a nice pretty flame too I wonder if you guys can hear that, hear the fuel boiling. Check back in three more minutes. All right, y'all, look at that. We got a full boil at 11 minutes and 35 seconds, which is terrible, absolutely terrible. But we did get a boil out of it, which is awesome, awesome. First boil. So. Those four stoves over there couldn't do it. Couldn't get anything. The highest reading I got was 83 degrees. This one we're at a full boil, a, a roaring boil, a rolling boil. Took it 11 minutes and 30 seconds though. Thing is my first alcohol stove that I built out of a out of a soda can I had a full boil I think it was in five or six minutes but it could have been as low as four I can't remember it may, it may have been five minutes I had a, a rolling boil like this so now my next thing is to see how long 
this will boil for. So once it starts to peter out, I'll come back to you guys. Y'all, this thing's still going strong. 19 minutes. That is almost unheard of for these little alcohol stoves with just two ounces of fuel. This is almost unheard of. Usually these burn out at about, about anywhere between 12 to 14 minutes. This thing is still going. And that water is still boiling too. Still got a rolling boil on that water. No problem. I will say this is not the fastest stove I've ever tried, but it is definitely the longest burning stove. I mean, wow. I'm going to have to try one of my soda can stoves with two ounces of, oil, of fuel. I'm pretty sure I've been putting two ounces. I may have been just using one ounce. But now I want to try it with two ounces just to see. Just to see. Now the soda can stove, it did boil the water really fast. But it's also a little less stable. Or I should say a lot less stable than the tuna can stove. 20 minutes now almost 21 minutes that thing is still going strong I'm telling y'all this is almost unheard of I don't know maybe other people have gotten the same result having a stove last this long let's do a temperature reading here it's at uh, 192 it is cooling down a little bit but you know to be expected but man that <laughs> flame is just it's just going and going and going all right y'all i'm gonna let this burn some more until it just peters on out and i'll come back to you we're now at oh here we go we're now at 26 minutes y'all that thing is still going still going now the water temp is getting cooler it's at 177, but it's still going. This stove is still going. After 26 minutes, still going. Holy moly. <laughs> okay, y'all, I definitely have not heard of these stoves going this long. So, uh, <laughs> I'm going to keep it going. I'm going to keep... Um, keep coming back every few minutes it is starting to slow down a little bit but I'm going to keep filming until this thing is completely out and see how long it burned for I mean this is just wow I mean oh <laughs> whoa 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 this is this is almost unheard of but hey it's slowing down y'all slowing down I'll come back this may not last a whole 30 minutes we're at um, 27 minutes I hope it lasts 30 minutes I really do oh boy it's getting towards the end I may not need to even shut off the camera Let's see if the water is still boiling the water's not boiling anymore it is simmering though it's still simmering Ooh, we're at 28 minutes, 14 seconds. Starting to lose some full flame over there on that left side. It's struggling, y'all. It's starting to peter out now. Get more red flames than blue. That would have been cool. Get the temperature of that in there. Temperature inside is 253 degrees. I wish I had done it while it was um, at its full full flame. It is starting to turn to the red flames now. Oh, 30 minutes, close to 30 minutes. 15 seconds it'll be. Uh oh, uh oh. Losing the flame, y'all. Lost the flames. 
We're at 30 minutes now. 30 minutes. Let's see. The water is no longer simmer simmering. No longer simmering. And, uh, went down 167 at 30 minutes. And... That was it. The stove lasted 30 minutes and 36 seconds. Wow. Let's see, is this... Oh. Yeah, the um, handle is still cool. Wow, wow, wow. I'm totally impressed with that. Yep, it burned down to nothing. There's nothing, no more fuel left in there. All right. So the tuna can stove worked really well. It wasn't the fastest boil, but it did last 30 minutes. I mean, that's long enough to cook a lot of stuff. Let's see, that could boil three, three, two, two, four, six. That could boil six cups of water.